Star Wars Battlefront 2 continues to have wide-reaching ramifications with multiple world governments looking into if loot boxes are gambling and all these other nonsense. And honestly, the witch hunt against EA is ridiculous and insulting to almost everyone involved. The second coming of FPS Jesus, Overwatch, officially came out well over a year ago and has prominently featured loot boxes with very little pushback. But then the internet internally screamed in one voice, Overwatch does it differently. It isn't pay to win, they do it right. But, but listen here, that is irrelevant. By making such a commotion about Battlefront 2's boxes, you are in turn making all loot boxes a target. If one is gambling, so is the other. Now the ESA came out and said it isn't gambling, but people weren't satisfied, so let's see the official definition of the word. Dictionary.com defines gambling as one, the activity or practice of playing at a game of chance for money or other stakes. That can indeed sound like loot boxes, but it isn't since you are guaranteed items in them, even if they aren't what you want most of the time. Definition 2, the act or practice of risking the loss of something important by taking a chance or acting recklessly. The loss of in-game currency is there, but again, there is no loot box where you will receive nothing. The Wikipedia entry for gambling has this to add. Gambling is the wagering of money or something of value on an event with an uncertain outcome with the primary intent of winning money or material goods. The key item here is the uncertain outcome, of which loot boxes do have, but also are very certain. Wikipedia continues, gambling thus requires three elements to be present, consideration, chance, and prize. And again, there is no chance you will get nothing. And everyone knows this, but is still all hot and bothered, and I can't say I, I don't blame them. Seeing how pervasive loot boxes are becoming while also being completely uninteresting in most of the games that they're, they're in. However, I started thinking about the very idea of loot boxes, and it reminded me of trading cards. Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, all of them, really. How come they aren't gambling? And how come, isn't, how come that isn't especially concerning, since it, they're targeted at kids? The answer is, again, that they are not. In 1999, there was a federal class action lawsuit about this very thing against Nintendo, and the case was dismissed. The internet remains angry, though. There's an argument that children can run up their parents' credit cards in these games, and, and that's really no different than simply leaving your wallet unattended in a house. That's a bad excuse that we've been hearing for years with these in-app purchases, and I'm tired of it. Be a better parent. It's exhausting. The product being entirely digital means nothing, and in this instance where the product only has a perceived value as to a practical or universal value of any kind, it gives it the same weight to me as a physical trading card, which is very little. There is some argument that Pokemon cards could be resold, but at the end of the day, it is still the consumer's fault for buying something digitally without thinking it through. Now, I'm not a fan of these boxes in general, so I support all the outrage in theory. But if we continue like this, we're just going to look incredibly stupid when time and time again we're told, no, it's not gambling. There has to be another angle, and I think being predatory to consumers is much better than misunderstanding the definition of a word. But then again, what do I know? I'm, I'm not the typical player in any respect. You know, I have more self-control in these games than J.J. Abrams has lens flares in his movies, so maybe the psychological angle is something we can go into as well. But remember, if you get your wish and destroy all loot boxes, this will affect even games you like. And don't come back crying to me when Overwatch has to drastically change because of all this commotion. Now, this, this would work a whole lot better if my fucking mouse would work. Oh no! Now see, here... The joke works better if there was there was no pause. If you excuse me now, I have to go to the casino. So I got right here one of these hot, hot new casino gambling things. I got, oh yeah, what's this? Let's see what this is. What's this? What's in this? Mmm. Mmm, smell those cards. It smells like uh, middle school. Or grade school, really. Let's get right to what you really want to see. You want to see the reverse holographic drillber? 
the normal holographic Huntail, garbage. I got a Rhydon. I got a Lu. This is this is trash. This is trash. I'm suing. Very upset. 